Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how simple it is to get started with API 3's brand new DAPI price and data feed tool. With just a few lines of code that you see here, you'll be able to generate any token price that's available in the marketplace. It doesn't require any token, it just costs a little bit of gas. And just like that, you'll be able to receive the data feed of the price token that you're requesting and the timestamp of when it was generated. This is very simple to do, so let's go ahead and get started. So you see here, I created a brand new empty workspace. What I'm going to do is create a brand new soul file. I'm going to call it DAPI feed.soul. You can name it anything you want, but that's what I'm going with right now. What we're going to do is create our license and Pragma. If we type in Pragma, it will autofill that for us for the MIT version. And at the time of this tutorial, we're using 0.8.18. Now we're going to name our contract, and that's going to be contract data feed reader example. And now we're going to go ahead and grab the proxy interface from the API 3 library. I'm going to go ahead and paste it down here. This is available on the doc, so you can copy and paste it easily as well. What this does is allow our contract to call the proxy interface through an address so we can receive the data feed just as easy. For this tutorial, we're going to use a public address as a proxy address. What this will do will store the proxy information for that particular token price feed, like ETH USD or RAP BTC USD. So what we're going to do is create an address, public, and proxy address. Now we will create a function that will allow us to swap out any address we want so we can change price feeds as necessary. So we're going to go function, set proxy address. It's going to take in an address called proxy address. We're going to go ahead and make this public. And all it's going to do is change our proxy address to the new set proxy address. Now that we have the ability to set the token price proxy from the marketplace, let's go ahead and create a function that will read the data itself. So we're going to go down to function, and we're going to go ahead and read data feed. It does not take any inputs. It will just be an external. It'll just be a view because it doesn't change the state, and it'll return two numbers to us. The first one being an int 224, which will be the value of the token feed price, and then a uint 256, which will be the timestamp of when the price was generated. And then all it requires is a simple function. It's going to go value and timestamp. And it's going to take the interface proxy. And it's going to take the address of our proxy. So it's going to be proxy address. And it's going to call the function from that interface as a read. And that's it. We will do one more thing before we deploy our contract. You'll notice that our set proxy address is set to public. That means anybody can call this function from the blockchain at any given time. If we were receiving a price feed of ETH and someone changed it to RAP BTC, it would defeat the purpose of our price feed. So what we're going to do is import the ownable function from the opens up in libraries. And that will give us the ability to add in the modifier only owner. So then we as a contract owner are the only ones that can change the address. So we will go ahead and add in is ownable to the contract. And now we can add in our modifier, only owner. So not only we as a contract address owner can change this. And now we're ready to deploy. Before we deploy, we want to make sure everything is working correctly. Over here, we're going to check our compiler version, make sure that it matches our Pragma Solidity, which is 8.18. I have it on auto compile, so everything is looking good, but we're going to compile it one more time, make sure everything is set and everything looks good. We're going to go ahead over to the deploy and run transactions. We want to make sure that our injector provider is set. Sometimes it defaults to remix, right? So we want to make sure that our injector provider is on MetaMask and you'll see that it has Mumbai network as my default network with my address ready to go. We want to make sure that our contract is on data feed reader example. And we're going to go ahead and deploy. It doesn't take any arguments, so it's just a straight deployment. Here, we're just going to pay for the gas. And our transaction is confirmed. If we look over down here, we can see that our deploy contracts is ready to go. 
And if we expand the details, we can see all the data that we need. Right here, we have the set proxy address, which we're going to set for our price feed. We have this transfer ownership for our only owner function, which we're not really going to use right now. We have the proxy address, which we haven't set yet, so it should be set to zero. And we have our price feed. So let's go ahead and grab our price feed proxy address. You will want to go to api3.org. On the landing page, you will see a link for the API3 marketplace. Here, you will see all the price feeds available to you and the chains they are available on. For this demo, we're going to look for the ETH USD price. And you'll see the option here. Go ahead and click on that. In order to see the proxy address, we will have to connect our wallet. And then we'll have to pick the chain that we want to have our price feed on. We are going to go to Polygon Mumbai Testnet. And as you see here, we have our price feed update. It is currently active and running. We have about 676 months and 10 days in gas with the amount that we have on here. It really depends on the usage of the chain and how much gas is required for each transaction. And here we have our proxy contract. Make sure to make this copy. Do not get confused with the data feed ID. You want to copy the proxy contract address. And now let's go back to our contract. And we will want to update our proxy address with our ETH price feed. So we're going to go ahead and paste that down and send the transaction. And now we're going to verify that our proxy address has updated. And as you can see, it has updated. So let's go ahead and check our price feed. And as you see here, we have a price feed of $1,733.68 with 18 trailing zeros and the time stop of when the price feed was generated to make sure that the price is not stale or not. And to verify, we have updated the price once we pulled it. So if we check our API3 market, we can see that it has been updated as well. And there you have it. This is how you will pull your data feed, use it in your DAP, your DeFi application. We look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Thank you so much for checking us out.